Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you already watched part one because this is part two of our clan tournament coverage. TSP versus TBE. The score is 4-1, so let's see if we can bring it home or if we're gonna need more fights. Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Pomzor and we're gonna just jump right in. We're gonna watch match 4. It scores 4-1. And um, this is my fight versus Igor or Ryuk. So you can see that he is part of ABR and FTBE. And uh, yeah, apparently his clan leader had a lot of hopes for him or a lot of faith in him because he said like, yeah, he's definitely gonna win. But the first combo goes to me because, well, I was waiting him out. It's kind of a standard PvP move or like PvP move of higher players to you know to just do the old dodge switch, dodge again. And you can see that there is quite a little bit of lag in here, so uh, bear with me. And that was just luck. And as usual, if you enjoy my videos, please consider slapping a like on it. And if you're new, subscribing. The reason for asking for likes is that my channel gets a bit more recognition like that. Just because, you know, YouTube will then push it out to a wider audience and that helps me get more exposure and grow the channel for all of us. So, with that said, let's get into the match. You can see that there's already quite some damage done on him. And now I will have to tap punch, but he beat me to it. You can see that he will attack, he will probably... Oh, I thought he would tackle. I have to say that I don't quite remember everything of this fight, but I think that should not change, should it? No, but he... I was about to say he did well on waiting me out, but then uh, I saw my Vanish Gauge disappear. So, <laughs> that's a very, very quickly dying Bardock, thanks to crits. And I should have just waited, but luckily he was choosing to use a Blast. Had he used a Strike card, then he definitely would have comboed me already back then. This way I forced him into a switch, so there's going to be another 6-7 timer counts until that Vegeta is coming back. Uh, which means we, we good. And the most important thing of this is, since this is Master's Pack only, you're gonna wa walk into a lot of crit tournaments or a lot of crit groups, right? Everybody's gonna use like Bardock and some Super Saiyans, so if you can get rid of him early, that's amazing. Okay, so he is vanishing, and can we... Ooh, wow, he was very patient there. Um, good job, Igor. So now he can bring the Hurt. I don't actually remember if he used his main ability already, but... Um, same for my Goku, his Goku's... Uh, Card cost has now increased, and he tapped me right out of that one. But yeah, still looking good. I mean, Goku at half health and Bardock here, and we killed the Vegeta. Uh, that's pretty much just what I was waiting for with that blue card in my hand. Uh, I hate this whole tackle thing. Okay, now we both just kind of danced around here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to protect my Vegeta a little bit because, I mean, Bardock is full health, so I think he can still take it, especially without crits. And... I'd rather preserve that type advantage, so if I have to kill off Bardock, that's fine. But I'm assuming he's gonna attack here, or not. I think I clicked that one a little bit too late. Yeah, that's something that's kind of annoying, is, you know, just click it too late, and here we just override his his tackle. Let's see if that's, that's not enough. Can we get a strike? Nope. So we still have to dance around a little more. Tap him out of the blast. If he had used the strike again, I think that would have connected before because just that slight frame advantage because the um, animation is faster. But however, um, I have to say that he he is pretty good uh, from the looks of it, and yeah, he was pretty good um, when he just had one man off, one man standing. So kind of as like a crisis unit, you can see that here. Um, and I mean, he's just a couple of tap punches away from dying, right? So. Let's see if he will sidestep. There we go. So that's match number one. And just as a reminder for those who might not have part watched part one, watch it now. I'll put it up there. Uh, but the rules are that this is a best of five without Rising Rush. And I think without Feint, but most of the units on the Master's Pack don't even have Feint anyway. So that's fine. Let's go into the next match. So you can see that we're just going to do a mirror match here. And I got kind of lucky with that combo start. So I'm just going to kind of ejaculate all my blast cards into him and hope for the best. And yeah, you can see that he is not single tapping. He is just hitting the screen three times. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to say is what you can do there is just backdash. Like right away, you vanish and you straight up just pull back. And 
really quickly, you're going to be able to like, if he does the triple tap, he's going to be stuck in the animation. I think I talked about it in the earlier video when Jiren's fight. See, he, he did that, but he expected me to, you know, triple tap as well, which I didn't. So yeah, there's that. Ah, oh, this is not going to connect. That was too many, yeah, too many frames. And that's the thing. Had I used the strike card here, that would not have been a problem, I think. But yeah, this way we lose the combo, we lose priority, and uh, Goku can wreak havoc on our Goku here. So, eh, yeah. But what you also saw is on mid range, it's even easier to time the sidestep. So if you have a blue card that is a beam, like a Kamehameha, you can pretty easily like time him if he just keeps doing it in the same frequency. And what we just did here is I faked the back dash in order to bait out his tackle and then just override it with a strike card. Just keep in mind though that this does not work when you use a blast because the tackle will probably be faster and he keeps tackling. So there's our key back. Ooh, I think he wanted to completely wait out the animation and then just just go for the attack. So we're just going to go for our garlic gun here and ooh, that wasn't a lot of damage. Okay, I used the main just to see what he was doing because now our switches are looking pretty bad. Which means now he can just kind of punish my, my Bardock for one combo and yeah, we're past those 60 clicks so um, Goku's buffs are gone. And again, are you going to attack? No, there you go. And this time I vanished late so that uh, the tap punches got were quicker and again I used the blast. I made that, mis that's a mistake, don't try and do that. All right, Vanish Restored, let's go, come on. It's time to just end it. I mean, his Vegeta is almost dead, so I have like, I have two more cards. I don't think he has that amount of key. There we go. So, two down, one to go. Let's do this. Okay, let's just convert those strikes. They're almost as expensive, but the blasts are just more useful here. And we can just go, okay, I don't know why I switched into Vegeta here. I probably should have ended the combo and went into Bardock so that I would have gotten crits for Vegeta after and this now I have to just kind of wait. We have four counts if I switch into Bardock right now. And I think, yeah, I'm just gonna get hit here. But I have to be honest, at this point I'm also just willing to take it. Because, you know, as soon as I can bait out his Vanish and just get rid of it, um, I can just, you know, straight up attack and... He doesn't really have any defense mechanisms against it. Do it again? No? Single? Alright, that's the power of single taps. So that's match number two. We need one more in order to gain point number five out of six. So this time I decided to just bring Zenkai Goku for the heck of it. And he's bringing a GT team, so I'm assuming he's going to bring Goku, Vegeta and Rildo. He's bringing <laughs> Goku, Rildo and Pan. That's interesting. Alright. And that was a perfect vanish. So the good thing about this team for us is he doesn't have crits, right? So he still does damage because that Goku is still strong and Rildo does bleed and, you know, he's powerful. But Rildo doesn't get a buff because there are no units on this team that buff GT. And yeah, Pan buffs on family, but she doesn't get a buff from the other units, kind of. So except for, I think, the green trunks he had on his bench. But uh, yeah, the synergy is kind of low. So we... we Kind of just we de we deal more damage and we concede less just because you know their stats are lower so uh, that's already an advantage for me but never underestimate a player and yeah I love doing this because a lot of times they want to just shoot a blast after you finish your combo and that was a bit too early and that was a good job yeah they just want to shoot a blast after you finish your combo so you already get rid of one of their blast cards by just tapping it so pretty much what I do is after my last strike card you know I just do a sidestep forward dash tackle, sidestep, forward dash, tap punch. And yeah, a lot of times this can also just be really kind of irritating to the opponent. And that was not good. Well, we just managed to dodge that bullet. And since he seems to wait a lot, yeah, that's why I decided to just kind of uh, attack straight away. Oh, that was not good. Okay, can we charge some key here at the back? Uh, that, yeah, that should still be in combo, nice. Yeah, I decided to dodge very late here just because um, I would run down the timer a little bit. But now I don't need to switch because I'm going to get attacked. So my Vanish Gauge is restored and the Goku is still looking okay on health. So no point, right? 
Now this might be a different story, but he just managed to activate that in the nick of time before his buffs go away. He has four more counts, but Zenkai Goku should be able to tackle it, and since he's in a combo, the five timer counts that he needs should run down pretty quickly. And whoop. Uh, okay, that was lucky. There we go. So uh, his costs, you know, got reduced, but then again, type disadvantage, so uh, not really cool. So let's use the main. Let's use the main. Why didn't I use it earlier? Probably because I still had cards, but card draw speed is so nice. So let's use the main now. And uh, yep, Pummel Pan. I don't know. She will still have more than 600k. Like, that Bardock does not do a lot of damage. I don't even remember. Is he a support type? And there you go. That's what I meant with, you know, just backdashing and uh, exploiting that he's using triple taps. And we should still be able to kill him because we got crits. There we go. So. Again, one down, two more. So let's do this. Gonna probably. Oh, interesting. I didn't. I thought I had to switch, but interestingly enough, uh, that combo that uh, blood connected. So that's three for me, which means it's TSP five, TBE one. So we'll just need one more, and that's my buddy Perfect Vegeta. Uh, you might know him if you're lurking around on server several Discord servers, like the ones from Lebra, the ones from the subreddit. And he's playing Silart. Silhart, I am not sure how to pronounce it, so sorry about that if you're watching, mate. Uh, if I butchered your name. But yeah, he's a pretty good player, so let's see what uh, comes out of this fight. I haven't watched it before. Obviously, my fight, I knew what happened. But yeah. And sorry about the crops, but I didn't want to change overlay mid-video, so I decided to just put it all on the same width and that's why it's slightly cropped at the sides but you know maybe you wouldn't have even noticed it i don't know um all right so for now he just you know got one hit still relatively even i mean it's early game 20 counts are done what is that is that lag or is that just faking a sidestep okay there we go there it is okay he's triple tapping as well so let's see if uh my buddy perfect vegeta is going to just adjust to that or if he's just going to do the same thing oh that was a <laughs> what wow i was about to say that was a really really good uh clash but he still got beat that's crazy all right so he switched he was probably anticipating a switch to the goku but now vegeta can switch into his goku which he didn't need because, I mean, yeah, you can see, combo was over, whatever. Okay, that's the first hit to... Wow, that was two crit tap uh, tap blasts, huh? Oh, okay, he went for the, straight for the strike, interesting. So, you're gonna just chain those or... Oh, there's Bardock, okay. Alright, let's see if that still connects. I think it should, but it looked like he was a little bit late, but... Wow, look at this damage. He's dead. Yeah, he switched, so he can't switch again. Which means that he is dead and... Oh, he attacked early again. Nice. Okay, is he going to use the main ability? Yeah, there we go. So, that Vegeta is probably going to be left with about 350-400k health. Let's see. Come on. What? Oh, wow. He probably gave himself crit still because when he, does, when he leaves the battlefield, it's for 15 timer counts. So if you swap him right in after the 10, then he pretty much gives himself buffs as well. Okay, now he switched needlessly. Kind of, you know, losing one vanish, but yeah. And again here, you can see that uh, the Bardock of the opposing team is taken out first. And that's really important because then, you know, the rest of the team does less damage. And that's by a lot, like by a, really by a lot, just because of the crits. Again, no, oh wow, nice fake. Well, that's gonna hurt and that's gonna kill. But it's now two on one, and he has one type advantage, so let's see if uh, his opponent can still make something happen here, or not really. Well, that was pretty nice. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see how much, how much damage that does, because that Zenkai Goku is pretty good. I haven't actually... I failed to look and see whether his Goku was Zenkai Awakened as well, so I'm talking about the opponent, but I think so. Because otherwise, you wouldn't just you just wouldn't use him. I mean, he's not that good before that. Okay, now the main. That's gonna hurt. And the good thing is that he still has that full green Goku. And 
roughly similar HP left on his Bardock when it comes to relative. And that's gonna, yeah. Ooh, green! Yes. That was lucky, man. That was a clutch green card there. Ouch. Okay, so... Seems that those Brazilian people are really good uh, when it comes to being on crisis. So when there's uh, just one man up, one man standing, and... Oh, mistimed that. Okay, shoot a blast. Nice. Okay, that should be game. No, I'm not sure if that is. No, it's not. Okay. But he's bleeding, so just a tap and that should be done. Tap, tap, tap. Nice. Okay, so 1-0. Let's see if we can do that cleanly. And uh, yeah, his okay, so his Goku is also Zenkai Awakened. Then I'm not sure why he brought the Vegeta. Either he's planning on using him together with Kaba because uh, they buff Kaba buffs Vegeta strike attack and that Vegeta is strike based. Because otherwise he only buffs Red and Vegeta family, so it's kind of meh. But there you go, Kaba and Vegeta. So let's see if that will change the outcome. It looks like an exact mirror of the first match. Uh, okay, that was a bit early. And Kaba as a blast unit is now going to just straight up hurt. Okay, destroy a card. You gonna do that again? No. Okay. Let's see what Vegeta's gonna do here. So, and when I say Vegeta, I'm always talking about my teammate. Ooh, now it's two on three, and he didn't even land a combo yet. That's uh, that sucks. Okay. So for now, it's looking like a very clear-cut match for Seal Art rather than for our buddy Vegeta here. There we go. Wow. That, that was a lucky hit though, because he totally could have vanished that. Are you gonna switch out? Yes. Okay, now he can probably use the main ability. Yep. All right, let's see how much that does. We're at 1.3 million. I'm assuming it's gonna go to like 800K, just because of crits, let's hope. 500K, so it went down by 800, wow. Okay, that was insane. And that was good because now uh, with slight lag and being quite fast on the vanish, you can kind of anticipate the opponent trying to tap you and just try and be faster. That works sometimes. And you get one more card in here before you have to switch out to Bardock. Right, so this one's gonna be a nut clencher. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if he wins that, kudos. Okay, so now, now he just kind of, yeah, anticipated that vanish or that uh, attack, and Kaba is gonna bring on some... Oof. That was it. Okay, lucky enough that it was just two cards. Not... Oh, whew, okay, nice. I wanted to say nice, but then it looked like he would be able to vanish, but then he didn't. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna kill him. Ah, there we go. Nice. So nice way of keeping Bardock in. Good job, because this way he can just uh, do much more damage to the Vegeta. Type, type advantage. I'm not even sure if that does more than crits though with neutral typing, but either way, that's pretty good. Like 85k left and that was too late. It wasn't. Wow. All right. Ah, that's that's one that's one of my problem parts here. So he waited out the tackle really nicely. I think you can charge step and get both cards in. Yes. So he waited out the, the sidestep after the tackle really nicely, and I always go just straight up for the attack and make that mistake. So tap, 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 kill him, kill him, kill him. And it's two on two, and all of a sudden that tide has turned. Holy shit. That was... Yeah, okay, obviously he, needed to, he had that heal, I forgot. But that was really good, man. So that's a really good job of turning the match around. And this one was just... Yeah, lucky you won the clash, to be honest. Because if you had lost the clash, you would have lost probably lost the match. At least you would have lost Bardock, so that might have been a pretty big disadvantage. Uh, probably it's gonna happen now, but Goku is coming in soon, unless he just chains it. Ooh. Wow, yeah, Kaba's, Kaba's Blast is really good when uh, he stays on the field for a little bit longer, right? So I think after 5, 7, and 10 counts, or 5, 5 10, and 15, I think it's 5, 7, and 10, he gets blast attack buffs, and those are like those are a force to be reckoned with. So this is not over. Nice. Okay, so win that clash, and you're still in the game. Oh, ouch. Okay. If he has a strike and he destroys that Kamehameha, that would be really annoying. But he doesn't. Okay, so. 
quick taps here. Kamehameha, he cannot switch yet, so... Ooh, that was lucky, just barely enough. And I think that he's going to... I thought... Oh, okay, he was expecting the tackle, I guess. So, now it's looking really good for our boy here. And that's the win. Nice, man. That's a, That was a good turnaround, bro. Good comeback. I'm proud of you. And now we just need you to win one more. And we have won the entire round. Can move on to the next round. But for now, it hasn't happened yet. So let's not count our chickens before they hatch, right? And uh, just enjoy that match. So clashes are always fun to watch. Except when they are like this. Uh, I mean, sometimes, you know, it do be like that. And you just get like an 800 or something. And you just think, what the hell did I just do? Or you have a little lag spike. And then exactly where you want to tap it glitches and then you get like 465 or something that's really annoying it happens but we okay okay so it's still pretty even first combo for each of them well how seriously that goku is still so good obviously on the buffs but and that's not gonna be enough is it <laughs> well let's I just thought because there was one uh, one card that was not a crit. Okay, use the green, stop the game. He's doing the same. No exclamation point, so let's see what happens. Nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this one, this one uh, escalated quickly, I would say. Wow, he waited him out long. But same for PV, so perfect Vegeta. And this should be, oh, he switched just in time. I forgot about that switch. So just stall a little bit. You can put your green Goku in there and then finish the job. Come on, switch. Yeah, that was to be expected. Yeah, he was impatient there. He expected a blast or a strike attack and just wanted to override it with his blue. Didn't happen, so yeah, it is what it is. Now he's going to get some some payback. Come on. That really, sometimes just the charge is so long with the lag that it doesn't look like it would connect. And that was a late switch, so yeah. Okay, he's probably going to strike cancel here. Yeah. Come on, one more. What? That looks so weird. And there we go. It's three on one. And that's gonna, yeah. I figured that that would connect, but nothing happened, so it's all good. And you can see that he did not want to waste his his vanish. Now he can. It's gonna. <gasps> Ooh, that was lucky, man. That rising rush would have cost you the match, not the entire one, but this one. So it would have been two one. So yeah, if you hit that rising rush by accident and you don't want to use it. You can switch your character out and the Rising Rush is going to get reset. So you're just pretty much going to you know, be where you were before without using the Rising Rush. Just in case. So let's see what he does here. Uh, tackle, of course. Switch, Vanish. I think you can just straight up attack here. Because they... Eh, one more? Nope. Okay. It happens. Come on, just finish it. Finish it! Fatality! You can do this! Yikes, what the hell? And that is match. So that means True Saiyan pl uh, Pride wins against the Brazilian Elite. Or I actually don't know what TBE stands for. I'm just assuming that. And this is a 6-1. So it was kind of a clear victory uh, by numbers. And we will come back to this tournament in the next round. I will try and cover the next round as well. But it also kind of depends on how my clanmates are going to be able to record. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this again. Leave a like, uh, comment down below if you didn't like it or what I can do to improve this and make it more interesting. Until then, I'm going to put some more videos in the cards and I will see you over there. Have a nice rest of your day. My name is Pomzor, so take care. Bye, everybody.